I'm Dr Joanne Tippett, a lecturer in spatial planning at the University of Manchester in the School of Environment and Development. And my research is about sustainable living and in particular how people can work together to imagine and plan for a better future in their areas, their companies, their towns, their neighbourhoods and their organisations. My first job was in Southern Africa. I was working with villagers in the rural areas of Southern Africa and I needed a better way to understand what mattered to people and to help communicate together. This led to the first prototype of Ketso, strips of paper, movable ways of working. And I took these ideas and started to test them in North Manchester to look at transforming this, this derelict, polluted, industrial wastelands into a different future. As I took this hands-on approach that I'd been developing in Southern Africa and started to really develop it into a hands-on toolkit, a way that people could actually write their ideas down, build up a picture and start to see a group picture developing together. And what's really exciting about this is the local people came up with a plan that was really doable and the enthusiasm that this generated actually meant that that site went from the bottom of the list to the first to get £1.7 million worth of funding and is now transformed into a country park. We've used Ketso ourselves for project planning, timetabling projects, even developing websites, things like that. Anything where you really have a range of ideas that you want to throw, in, throw together in a visual sense and then organise and make sense of, it's great for. Since we launched as a social enterprise in 2009, Ketso has been used in a huge range of contexts, from, from community planning and local engagement, through to health and well-being, to the future of learning in the civil service. In Rwanda, Ketso is being used with teenage boys, orphans. So my vision for this is that it can help us worldwide to imagine a better future.